Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you how to install the ITLS ENSO plugin on your PS Vita or PS TV. So if you have ENSO on 3.60 or 3.65, sometimes the web browser and other internet applications just won't work um, because they haven't got the correct certificate. So in this video, I will be showing you how to fix that by installing the latest version, which works. So we will actually be using auto plugin for this. It's just the easiest way to actually install the plugin. So if you have auto plugin, go ahead and launch it now. If you do not have auto plugin, I have a video on how to install it, and I'll be sure to link that in the description. Okay, so once auto plugin loads up, we need to select plugins for PS Vita and press on X, go to install plugins, and now we need to find it on here. So it should be somewhere on here. Um, I'm just going to have a look for it. There it is, ITLS-ENSO. This is the version we need. Now at the top, you can see we have UXO or URO. If you use left and right, you can choose which one to select. So we're going to choose uh, my UXO because that is where my tie folder is. I do not have an SD to Vita. Or external storage or anything so I'm just going to press X to install it so I'm just going to say please wait and it's been installed now if you're not sure which one you're supposed to be installing it on you can do both um, like that and then just delete one later um, it doesn't really matter it's such a small application but um, you pretty much just install it on the one and um, where your ties config file is so press circle just to go back to the main menu press circle again scroll down and just press x on exit so once we exit and um, basically it needs to restart but once it's restarted we will be able to connect it to our pc and then install the vpk we need okay so once it's restarted let's go and just open vita shell because we will need to connect our ps vita or ps tv um, to our computer so let's just press select, bring up the FTP server, and now I'll go onto my computer and show you guys what to do next. Okay, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to this in the description of the video. And there's actually only one file we get to need. Because we've already got the plugin, we just need to download the VPK. So it has a link to it here. So if you just click on this, it's just going to bring up the GitHub page. And we can just click on the itls-enso.vpk and that will begin downloading. So once we've got that, let's go to our downloads folder and just check we have got it. And now what we need to do is open up um, FileZilla. Or if you're using USB connection, you can just drag and drop it across we are using filezilla so i'm going to find it on here make sure you're connected enter in the host and the port at the top and then just click on quick connect okay and then when we're connected let's just drag and drop this into the uxo so this one right here let's just drop this in there and now we can double check it's on there there you go it says it's transferred so let's go back onto our ps tv let's install it and i'll show you guys how to get this working Okay, so now we've got the VPK, let's close out of this by pressing circle. Let's go onto the UXO and then let's just find it so we can install it. So here it is, itls-enso.vpk. Press X, X again to install it. You might have to press X a third time as well. Now just wait for it to install, should install very quickly. And then once it's done, let's just back out of Vita Shell and we should be able to find the apps on our home screen. So here it is, it does not have an icon, just click on it and then just press X to start it up. Okay, so we don't really need um, the top three options. This is the one we need, um, install slash uninstall the ITLS plugin. So press X on this one. It's just going to say working, you just have to wait for it. Okay, so it will automatically close. You can just press X to start it back up again. Um, there is another thing you can do. You can install the 3.69 root certificates. Um, sometimes other websites might work, but if you install this, I'm pretty sure every website will work, so we're just gonna get this as well. That will install in seconds. And now once that's done, we can hold circle, and that will close out. So what we need to now is just reboot the device. So I'm just gonna hold the um, PS button. If you're on PlayStation Vita, just hold the power button, and then just go to power off. So once it's powered off, we will need to power it back on. And now once it boots up, the plugin should be working. So what we can actually do is test it out. Let's go to the browser right now. Normally we would get errors on some websites, but let's try and see what happens. So it looks like YouTube seems to be loading up fine. And we can actually try some other websites as well. If I just go to the search up here, maybe just go to like eBay or something. 
and as you can see it's working fine and we're not really getting any errors. Now there is actually one more thing you can do um, in settings if you have not done this already. You just want to go over to system settings and just go and start this up. Go to Henkaku settings, go to spoofed version and we're just going to put in 3.70 because that is the latest version. So it's probably a good idea to update this if you have not done that yet and just make sure it's 3.70 in there. So that's pretty much it for this video. That is how you fix the error and get it working. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.